Are you talking to me? I'm not sure if I hear you all that well. Well, you know, anyway, and just so you know, uh, my bike is almost ready to go. Uh, it's up on my lift. Got almost all the plastic done. I've had it serviced. Uh, I've gotten the valves checked. I've gotten all the coolant changed and the brake fluid and the clutch fluid changed and it's ready to go and I just have waiting for a bolt to go onto my right down here I'm missing a bolt on the other side for my heat shield once that comes in then I can put the underbelly in and we're good to go but first we're gonna talk about something that helps me here all right see you in a bit Good day, and welcome to Yeah, It's Red. My name is Robert, and I am an ST1100 Honda enthusiast. And today I'd like to talk about something that is kind of dear to me. Um, and because uh, a lot of us ST owners are in the, uh, the demographics are in the upper age bracket, and I am now 65, a little bit older than that. And uh, four years ago, I went in for a hearing test and it was determined that I needed hearing aids. So what I want to talk to you today about is wearing hearing aids and how that can affect your riding and, and some, uh, a little bit of advice on that. So uh, a lot of us will wear earplugs and uh, in our helmets to uh, protect our hearing. Uh, but those of us that are now uh, with hearing aids, uh, that's not necessarily an option unless we take the hearing aids out. And there are a couple of kinds that you can use. And when I was, my first pair, I shall say, my first pair were in the canal hearing aids. They were these ones right here. They. Uh, took an imprint of my ear, my ear a mold, and as a result, this is what we've got, these tiny little hearing aids, and they just pop in your ears like so, and away you go. And uh, you can wear a helmet with that, so I have to take my glasses off to do that. and my helmet on and I'm good to go glasses on and away we're at it now comes the tricky part when you take off your helmet with these on you have to sort of lean into it just to make sure that they don't fall out they're in there fairly well, but yeah. now there were problems with these uh, because of the moisture in the, my ear. Sometimes that these would fail, and I'd have to get them serviced. In fact, one of them failed uh, a few months ago, and I ended up having to buy a new pair. But these are Bluetooth capable, so you can pair them with other devices pair them with your phone. You can pair them with your GPS. This particular type, I had to wear a necklace like this. There are a couple of buttons. I can adjust the volume. I can adjust the mode. And that's a good thing to know about because there are a number of modes that can be had for these hearing aids. 
and you can get the person at the hearing clinic to actually create a mode that mutes the hearing aids. So it, in effect, it acts much like a uh, earplug, and it deadens the sound. And what I would do was I would go into that mode, and I had these paired with my GPS unit, and then I would have my phone paired with my Cardo Bolt, PackTalk Bolt, because then I could use the voice control to use my phone, talk on the phone, and talk to Siri. So that was that option. Now, the other option that I ended up having to do, and it was newer technology, these are uh, fancier units, but to uh, do all the fancy stuff, they can't get them in the sp small package like this. They prefer to make it go behind the ear. So I have this kind. Now you'll notice that the, uh, I have a, f a rubber plug in here, so that makes it slightly different. You can also get the molded units. But if you're riding with a motorcycle, uh, wearing these is problematic because they pop out of your ears quickly and then you lose the whole device. So uh, these, once you put them in, just put them in the canal and stuff them in there over top of your ear. My glasses. And you are good to go. There. This kind uh, has a tap feature. So if I want to talk to Siri, I just tap my ear twice and it will engage Siri or Google. Uh, on the other side, if I tap it, it will um, stop my streaming and engage it again. And there are buttons on the top to adjust volume and you can uh, also put it in a mode for um, mute, which I do use. The issue with these is uh, because the buttons are on the top behind the ear, when you put your helmet on, uh, sometimes those buttons engage and it takes a moment. Siri. Uh, I also have a control like this here. It uh, has a plus and minus for volume and it has another button for mode. I'm not happy with this because I can go into another mode or I can stop streaming, but I can't re-engage it with this. So it's a bit of a pain. There are also apps on your phone for these units, uh, but it takes some time to connect. So it's a little bit aggravating. I am in the process of trying to pair it with my GPS device. I'm running a FOD Sports. It's a generic unit. Um, I could easily pair it with my old hearing aids, but I can't pair it with my new ones at the moment. I'm trying. It could be a software issue, a firmware issue. I'm not sure. So uh, I am trying to resolve that. Um, but this one will pair with my PackTalk Bolt, so that's okay. So the process again for putting on your helmet. Uh, is basically the same. Uh, as you can see, I'm also uh, v vision impaired, so I have to take my glasses off. I can put my helmet on. And then sometimes it will uh, pu accidentally push a button and it may engage Siri or it may not. You'll just have to wait for that. Um, and the other habit I have is I put my glasses back on before I do up the chin strap, so I always remember to deal with my glasses. Taking them off, 
is, taking the helmet off is pretty much the same as with the other hearing aids. Glasses off first, then you take your helmet off and still bounce forward. Now you'll notice the hearing aids have come off behind my ears, but they dangle and they stay in because of that rubber thing. If I was using this one, they would not stay in and they would fall to the floor and you'd be crawling around trying to find it. But simple, tuck back, and away we go. I have found that if I tap my helmet with the hearing aids on, I can also uh, activate Siri if I so choose. Um, but, anyway, technology is amazing. The ones that I currently have now are rechargeables. I don't have to worry about these little tiny batteries like this here. You can see that, not sure, but anyway, it's a small, tiny battery. Um, and those last me for a few days before I have to change them. Whereas the ones, my new ones, are rechargeable and they have a case like this. And in the bottom section here is uh, a recharging battery. So I don't always have to have it plugged in the wall. So you can see three lights light up that shows that it's fully charged. And this will last me a few days. So I can take this on a road trip and uh, not worry about having to plug in. I can easily, at nighttime, I just take off my hearing aids and drop them in here and they will automatically charge. And it takes about uh, three hours for a full charge, a half hour for a boost if I need. And I get about 13 hours with them. Uh, I can stream music with them. I can talk on the phone with the hearing aids. Fabulous. But when I'm riding, I rely on my Pack Talk Bowl to do all that because with the voice commands, it's much easier. Uh, voice commands, I can uh, tell Pack Talk Bowl to answer the phone, to skip a call. I can ask it to stream my music. Um, I can tell it to go to the next track, or whatnot, which I can't do with my hearing aids. So, <clears throat> um, so the bottom line is, yes, you can ride with hearing aids uh, to cut down the wind noise. Get your provider to activate a, a mute mode so that you can go into that mode, and that will protect your ears from the loud wind noise. And if something important happens, uh, your it will automatically go out of out of that mode. Meaning, uh, if you were to get a phone call or not, um, unless you are pairing it with your Pack Talk Bold or Senna. Um, that's about it. Just a little bit of information for you. Uh, if you have questions, uh, you can ask me in the comments down below and I will try and answer them. Thanks for watching and we'll check with you next week.